Looks like Larry Hogan is running for president as a third party candidate, and I'm all for it because if Larry Hogan or maybe Joe Manchin runs on one of these no labels third party, we're better than the Republicans and Democrats. We're altruistic. We're pure. We're wonderful. If one of those guys runs on one of those tickets, boom, we've got a Republican president. I don't care who the nominee is. We win. This hurts Joe Biden more than anybody else. I'll explain that in a moment, but let me remind you who Larry Hogan is, if you've forgotten. He was the governor of Maryland for eight years, two consecutive terms. First Republican to do that in about, I don't know, 50, 60 years. By the way, I live in Maryland. He was my governor. I voted for him. I'm glad I did. He wasn't the best Republican, but he was better than what the Democrats were offering, so I liked that about him. But see, here's the problem with Larry Hogan. He didn't do much to actually build the Republican Party in the state of Maryland. He really focused on what was best for Larry Hogan. And when it came time to replace Larry Hogan with a new election, he endorsed one Republican candidate, and that Republican candidate lost to a more Trump-friendly Republican in the state of Maryland. And at that point, Larry Hogan was out of here. He didn't care. He didn't help that Republican win the election. He basically helped the Democrat, Wes Moore, win the election. In fact, on the day of the primary, when his candidate was trying to get that nomination in Maryland, where was Larry Hogan campaigning for his gal? He was in New Hampshire. So we all thought, okay, he's running for president, but then he decided he wasn't going to run for president. Then we thought maybe he was going to run for Senate. There's an open seat now. Ben Cardin in Maryland, he's retiring. And, well, he's not running for Senate either. So Larry Hogan has retired for all intents and purposes. And then yesterday, he released this video. We had leaders from all across the country fly in today. It's a Wednesday, but Governor Larry Hogan held the governor celebration. Governor Hogan was at an event in Hanover, Maryland last night to celebrate his eight years as governor. Governor Hogan is well regarded among Republicans, Democrats, and independents, and because of that, he stood out. But I've always been an underdog, and people have always counted us out. But every single time, We've beaten the odds. And the people in this room have already helped us achieve the impossible. And if we can do that here in Maryland, then there's no place in America where these very same principles would not succeed. That guy's running for something, all right. And it ain't governor, it ain't senator, so it's got to be president, but not the Republican nomination. How do we know? Well, because yesterday the Washington Post had an article about this emerging no labels ticket. They want to offer a third party alternative to Biden and, well, the presumptive nominee for the Republicans, Donald Trump. And they floated two names, Larry Hogan and Joe Manchin, the Democrat from West Virginia. And here's what Larry Hogan did on Twitter. Take a look. He took a quote from that very same article saying, one would be former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, who's worked with the group and spent much of his eight years running a blue state with sterling approval numbers. In his final months, he had a popularity. He was pointing out the fact that the Washington Post is saying that Larry Hogan would be a great candidate on the no labels third party ticket in 2024. And to that we say, bravo, Governor Hogan. Do it, do it, please run. Because let's face it, there is not one single Republican who is ready to vote for either Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis or whoever ends up being the nominee. There's not one of them who's sitting there thinking, if only I can vote for Larry Hogan. You know what? Every single Republican who would really rather vote for Larry Hogan today is already voting for Joe Biden. And there are also a lot of Democrats who are currently planning on voting for Joe Biden because they can't bring themselves to vote for a Republican. And if Larry Hogan runs, he'll get some of those votes too. If Larry Hogan runs, he will only help the Republican nominee. Or if Joe Manchin ends up being the no labels third party candidate, he will also help Donald Trump or whoever the Republican nominee is. Those votes will come from Joe Biden. Don't believe me? Look at history. 1980, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan. People knew that Jimmy Carter was a disaster. 
And if they were going to vote for him, a lot of them were only voting for him because they were terrified of Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan's a psychopath. He's inexperienced. He's only an actor. He's going to bring us to the brink of nuclear war. So they voted for John Anderson. It made him feel great. It made me feel great, too, because Ronald Reagan became president. And by the way, on the flip side, in 1992, the same thing happened in reverse when Ross Perot ran. A cut spending, cut taxes, protect the border, no trade with Mexico, guy from Texas who graduated from the Naval Academy. You think he drew votes from Bill Clinton? Of course not. He drew votes from the Republican from Texas, George Bush. Larry Hogan, run, baby, run. That's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. In the meantime, I'll see you on the radio.